For this video, I asked 10 medical students from the top universities in the UK what they wish they knew before starting medical school. But before we get onto everyone's advice, if there's anyone in this video that you want to see more of or get in touch with specifically, then most definitely check out their contact information in the description below and they're all really friendly and very willing to help you out. But with that said, let's get straight into it. My name is Yosha. I am a fourth year medical student studying at King's. I've just finished my year integrating in med tech, entrepreneurship and innovation at King's as well. And here are the pieces of advice that I wish I knew. Number one, before getting into med school, you need to celebrate where you're at now you need to celebrate the small wins because especially if you're like me and the goalpost keeps moving and no achievement ever seems to be enough which i think is quite a common thing in high strung medics please don't discredit how much effort you've put in how deserving you are you're not here by chance or by luck i genuinely believe that the grit that you've contributed is the result of most of your successes my name is shrika i'm a 50 medical student at imperial and one thing I wish I knew before med school is that nobody has it all figured out. Everyone's winging it to some degree, and that's okay. You don't need to be a genius, you just need to be consistent. Honestly, half the battle is just about showing up, staying calm when things get tough, and not burning yourself out trying to be perfect. It's all about learning as you go, and that's the whole point of med school. Hi there, my name's Karthik, I'm a fifth year medical student. One thing I wish I knew beforehand is how much commuting you have to do during placement. So I have to use my car so much traveling from in and around Cambridge to different hospitals in the region, as well as traveling back home. So I travel maybe more than an hour um, each day just to get to different places. So definitely bear that in mind when you're applying to different universities. Hi there, my name's Race. I'm going to my fourth year of medical school. And the number one thing I recommend for students uh, going into medical school is that it's okay to side quest away from just pure medicine. You don't need to be studying all the time. Um, it's really important for you to get involved with societies, more specifically just exploring your interests, as well as maybe different career paths um, or that hobby that you really, really want to try. For me, I joined an entrepreneurship society as the president of Casey Overson Jiu Jitsu and I've had so much fun just doing that. In fact, that's the main medical skill experience. You don't have as much time now as you do in the future when you get into the world of work. So make the most out of that freedom. Don't get scared into thinking, I can't start making content or I can't build my own project while at medical school. Of course, lots of people spend most of their time revising. And yes, there's a lot of content to get through. But I can tell you that if you are really passionate about something, starting something on the side, please go for that. Just make sure you have a solid revision schedule. You're starting early, revising a little bit at a time just to make sure you're not neglecting your exams because they're very important as well. Hi, my name is Rachel. I'm a fifth year medical student at the University of Edinburgh. And one of the things I wish I knew before I started medical school is that placement is really self-guided. You might turn up to the ward round at 9 a.m. and most of the time the doctors don't know that you're even meant to be there. And your day will be determined by which doctors you're placed with. Some are really excellent at teaching and others less so. So my advice is to come prepared, know what sign-offs you want to get done through the day, whether that's taking bloods, doing examinations, taking history from patients, and tell the doctors in the morning that's what you're looking to do. That's how you can be most productive on placement without sitting there from nine to five being and feeling a little bit useless. One of the things that I wished I knew before going to medical school was the importance of joining societies. I made a mistake of not joining any when I started, and as a result, I didn't meet that many people. I wish I could go back and join as many as I could, especially in the early years when you've got more free time. It can be anything medical, academic, sports, cultural. Just get involved with as many societies as you can and meet as many people as possible. Not everyone you meet will be a friend for life. But the more people you meet earlier on, the better you can get to know everyone around you and find who your good friends will be. Hi, my name's Ishan. I'm a fourth year medical student at UCL. And one thing I wish I knew before medical school is the power of people. Obviously, before medical school, we all regurgitate the same book and say how medicine is a team sport. Everyone in the hospital is working together. But it's so much more than that. Over the last couple of years of medical school, I've noticed the power of collaboration, be it making videos like this or doing research projects together and publishing papers. But even the simplest of problems at medical school are solved by people. If you're struggling with exam prep, then an older year student is just one DM away. And most people People are so helpful and friendly. I wish I got to know more people, especially at the start of medical school, because imagine the amount of connections I could have made by now. Hi, my name is Karina and I'm a final year medical student at Southampton. And if there was one thing I wish I knew before starting medical school 
was that you don't need to be getting the perfect grades and that's totally okay. Especially in school, I feel like we're always trying to aim for the top marks when it comes to our GCSEs and then our A-levels and medicine is just a whole new challenge in itself. The content is so vast and it's just not realistic to be able to master everything straight away. Now, a lot of the med schools have got a pass-fail system when it comes to exams and this gives you room to properly understand the material that you're learning rather than worrying about trying to get those top grades. I think Ninja Nerd helps you understand your anatomy and physiology really well. Recommend that YouTube channel. I also recommend studying in groups. Now, everyone knows this is really useful when you're doing OSCEs, but I also think teaching helps you memorize the content much better. Use as many visuals as you can. Draw out maps of sort of diagrams and things like the Krebs cycle. That's really helped me out. Even if you're, you don't think you're a visual learner, which I didn't think I was, I found that using a whiteboard pen and just having all your friends in your room and going through the content together really makes it memorable. Hi, my name is Harshi. I'm a final year med student at Southampton. And one thing I wish I knew before starting med school was how it doesn't stop once you graduate. Everyone talks about specialty applications and how difficult these can be, mainly because you have to study for more exams, complete and perfect your portfolio and work as a doctor for the first time, which can be really stressful. And the best way to combat these things would be making sure you have a good balance and prioritizing your mental health from the beginning. Starting this from the beginning of med school, continuing it throughout, and once you graduate, will be really important for your growth as a student and a doctor. All right. Hi. 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 All right. Hi. I'm Moyad. I'm a first year medic at the University of Oxford. Yeah. All right. I can't do that again. Hi. I'm Moyad. I'm a first year medic at the University of Oxford. And one thing I wish I knew before medical school is that you deserve to be here okay when you first enter like i did you're probably going to compare yourself to other students imagine just sitting in the lecture theater and you're watching people around you just typing furiously into their laptops or taking notes and you feel like you're behind and you're not working as hard as they are and the imposter syndrome starts to kick in and everything like that but i want to say that you deserve to be here you're fully capable as a student like i'm saying directly to you you deserve to be here it's just a matter of putting the time in and progressing at your own pace and level because you got in you got in so you can do the work it's just a matter of doing it um don't compare yourself to other people remember you deserve to be here and do well and that's what i gotta say subscribe to ishan follow me on tiktok bye